Hello and welcome back to my channel. Let me just start off by apologising. I know I haven't made a video in ages and it's because I had a cold, which is ironic because we're in summer, but I guess it was a summer cold. Um, I'm a lot better now. My voice is a bit thingy still, but nevertheless I can still make videos. And let me just put another side note in. Sorry if you can hear music, it's my next door neighbours. They're playing like something and I can hear it and I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but I'm sorry if you can hear it. Okay let's get started. So I'm going to be doing as you can tell by the title my top eight makeup items from the drugstore which are really inexpensive. So first let's start off with primer. This is the Maybelline New Baby Skin Primer which is instant pore razor and basically what I do with this is I get it only a little tiny bit, you really don't need that much, you only need like the teeny tiniest bit. And I get it and I put it he like here and I sh like press down and I push out like that. So like, like that and then I pat so it like kind of fills in like any pores that are open. So yeah, this is really good. It, does, it, it doesn't really go oily because you're not really putting it in like your T-zone area. Like, you're, like I only put it here but... It works well for me and it makes your skin look really kind of flawless. Flawless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, God, so ah! Okay, the next product that I have is probably one that everyone's heard of and mine's a bit dirty. I'm sorry, like all the writing scratched off on the front. Um, this is the Collections Last Imperfection Concealer. Mine is in Warm Medium Free. And this is really good for covering like dark circles and any little blemishes that you may have. Um, I know a lot of people say that it it it's quite heavy for like under the eyes, which it can be quite heavy for under the eyes. If you if your eyes crease a lot, then it's probably not like the best. But I think if you mix this with a bit of like under eye cream, it will make it it will thinen it out, thinen it out, yeah, and it, it, like it will kind of soak into your skin a lot more better and like the colour will like block out any blueness. Although this isn't like a red toned concealer, so you may, like I find sometimes if my eyes are like really blue underneath because I have like bags under my eyes, like purpley blue, and then if I don't have like, sometimes when the colour's like a bit more like bluey purple, that I can still kind of see it under this. So, but that's that's like like understandable because this isn't like a red based concealer. But yeah, it's really good anyway. Um, the next, I don't really wear foundation, but I do have quite a few foundations. But I don't really wear it. I never wear it on like a day to day basis. The only time that I would wear it because I really don't like the feeling of it on my skin. But the only time that I will wear it is probably when I have like an event to go to, like. I wore this for prom or like I would wear it for like birthday parties or if I want my skin to have a little bit more coverage. Um, this is the Rimmel Match Perfection. Um, it's got SPF 18 which is really good for the summer and it's light perfectant radiant foundation so it's kind of like the Rimmel Wake, sorry it's a bit dirty by the way, um, it's kind of like the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer as in like it's concealer no it's kind of like the room will wake me up foundation as in it's I, i'm guessing it's got like the light like flex in like the flex of oh why did i do that i put too much on my hand okay bad mistake like it i don't know i guess it does because it's like a light radiance one but yeah i really do like that though like that's like i have got a couple of foundations and when I do go like out and I do want to wear like a foundation this is the one that I mostly go to because I do like the way it feels on the skin it gives like a light to medium coverage it's definitely buildable though it definitely is buildable um moving on to uh bronzer I've only got one bronzer and this is the bourgeois bronzer which you probably heard a lot about I don't really like this is new this is like the first ever bronzer that i bought um it's the bourgeois one the chocolate one this is and it comes with a highlight um i don't i i do like this 
I'm not the biggest fan on the smell of it. I think it smells a bit weird. It shouldn't really smell like chocolate. But yeah, this is really good. Like, you've got the highlighter there and you've got the bronzer here. And yeah, so you just put it here, here, and like around your face to give your face a warm look where the sun would naturally hit you. And you can do like, I tend to go like on this bit of my nose, like on the bridge of my nose, like two sides for to make it give the appearance of like a thinner nose. But I haven't actually done that today, but yeah, I do normally do that with this also. Moving on to powders. Now, I use two powders, which is kind of weird, but I find, like, I heard a lot of hype about the Rimmel Stay Matte, and when I got this, I really didn't think it was that good. Like, it's not that good. I don't know if it's just my skin that it doesn't really work that well with, but I don't think it's that good. I much prefer the Collections Last Imperfection um powder this one which is this one here it also does come with a mirror which is which is also something i do like about this it comes with a mirror oh my god i'm sorry if i just like totally blinded you then sorry it comes like and it came with a sponge which was there which is i don't use because i use a brush and as you can see this is very much loved because i've hit pan like i've hit pan bad um whereas i've not hit pan on this one and i don't really there is a dip but I'm not really the biggest fan of this. So basically what I do, and this is quite light. I got this in 006 Warm Beige, and I got this in 03 Dark. I mix these two together, so I, I will swirl my brush in this, and I will swirl my brush in this, and then I just think... I'm sorry about that, my camera cut out again, like always. Um, I think I was on about these two powders. Um, yeah. My per like I personally use both these together, but obviously you could like buy the stay matte, Rimmel stay matte, or you could buy like the collections last imperfection. But it's totally up to you because on YouTube there's like loads of good views on both of these products, so it's up to you whatever one you buy. Um, the um, next I'm moving on to eyeshadows. I actually have three palettes here. Um, I have this Rimmel London palette. Which don't, which is a quad, which don't actually say the names of the eyeshadows on the back, which is strange, but basically have a bronze colour, a highlight colour, a champagne colour, well, a champagne like skin colour, and like a purple colour, which I thought was quite odd to have in this like quad, but nevertheless, they're all very pretty. Um, the ones that I use most are this bronzed colour and this like champagne -y kind of skin colour-y colour colour-y colour <laughs> what the hell um yeah so that's really good the I'm actually wearing them two colours on my eyes today it, if you can see I'm not really sure if my stupid camera can pick it up but yes um the next palette I have is the M N no M U A palette and um this is Undress. This is the palette called Undressed. Um, yeah, and it just comes with two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve colours. Two of which, which have actually broken out because this palette thing, this the bit with the colours in, actually comes out, which I have no idea why. But oh god, now it's not coming out. Again, cut out. Sorry. Um, yeah, I was just talking about this MUA palette. Um, it, it comes with like all the colours that you possibly need to make like any sort of like eye, like, eye look, sorry, can't get my words out. I have like the spark, there's like the shimmery ones, there's matte, there's two dark ones, there's like you've got dark browns, you've got light, highlight colours, like this is perfect and I can't remember how much this was because I actually got it when you get three for two. But yeah, it's really, really good and it's kind of like a nice size to travel with, I would say. But yeah, the next one is the W7 In The Nude Natural natural Nude Eyeshadow Palette, which it does actually come with like a really pretty good brush, which I don't actually have with me because it's over there. But it's like a decent brush, it's not one of those sponge applicators. It comes with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... 12. 12 different colours 
and you've got your sparkly ones, you've got your matte ones, you've got all the dark ones here. Okay, moving on to eyes, I have two mascara here, two mascaras here, and this purpley pink one is actually made by Primark, which is also good because Primark's really good because they sell really loads of cheap things in there. Yes, they do. And I'm not ashamed that I shop in there sometimes because they have pretty clothes and they're up to, up to, up to, up to, up to speed on their trends. And this is by the brand in there which is PS Love, which is Primark's beauty range. And it's the Volumizing Black Mascara. And I got this like months ago and I never used it because I looked at it and I thought, what the hell am I meant to do with a brush like that? Like what the hell is that going to do to my eyes? But if I come closer, you can see I'm actually wearing only this today on my eyes. If you can see, yeah, it's so very long lashes. Um, yeah, so I really like this. And the next one I have here is the Rimmel um, Scandal, Scandalize, 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 as in eyes. Um, Mascara, yeah, it's orange, it's very pretty, and it comes with a brush like that, which is, mm, it's not a fibre brush, it's a, no wait, it is a fibre Okay, moving on to lips, another one that I really, really love, which I don't actually have with me, is, because I've actually lost, I had two of these and I've lost both of them, is the Bourjois Rouge, no, Velvet Rouge Edition, lip, kind of lip stain, lip line, oh, I don't know, lipstick thing in the like screwy lid I love that and I love it and my colour was a um, nudist I love that so much I need to buy another one um, the, two, the two lipsticks that I have which are by Rimmel Kate Moss are in the colour 07 which is this red vampy lip one and the colour 16 which is this corally nudie pinky one sorry I was just editing this video and I realised that um, the ending of it, I, it's like not there, so the camera must cut out without me realising. Um, I forgot to add that most of these products are actually from Superdrug, so you can get them from Superdrug super if you're interested. And, yeah, um, please do like and subscribe. Um, I know I keep saying that my videos will be better, but I'm sorry, I can't help it. It's just like, the camera that I'm like on, I, I need to buy like a new one, but that's no excuse but yeah please do like and subscribe and my social media links will be in the down bar thanks for watching bye